HTTV Live. I'm Elliot Hartford. And I'm Jack Bozma. Thank you for feeling in with us today. So, Jack, how's your week? <laughs> Not pretty good. Uh, girls had a volleyball game on Tuesday against the owner. Uh, fought hard in the first set and then just kind of lost everything after that, but they fought hard. Um, uh, Thursday tonight, the girls play uh, their pink night game against Miller here in Tulare. Yeah, that should be a good matchup. And then tomorrow, uh, our football team travels to Watertown to take on the uh, Great, Great Plains Lutheran Panthers. Panthers at 6 o'clock. And so that will be fun. And uh, yeah, so I'll send it to Briar with the kids in the elementary. Hello, I'm Briar Close for the HDTV Live. I'm here with Layla. So Layla, what's, what grade are you in? Second grade. Second grade? How's school going? Good. Good. What's your favorite subject? Math. Math? Have you learned anything new? No. Nope. No? What's your favorite thing to do in recess? Play in the field. Play in the field? Do you have a certain game you guys like to play? Duck, duck, goose. Duck, duck, goose. That sounds fun. Hey, and now I'm here with Leo. So, Leo, what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth? How's school going? Good. Uh, what's your favorite subject? Art. Art? Have you learned anything new in art? Um, not really. Not really? What's your favorite thing to do at recess? Play kickball. Play kickball? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Zach, for that nice sports recap there. I have something that's not related to sports, but it's school activity. So last week, as you guys know, the Hitchcock Two-Layer FFA went to Westendon Springs for uh, rain, or land and range days, whatever. So land and range a, judging yeah. to see who would go to nationals. Here's a little summary of that, so please listen. <laughs> Hitchcock Two-Layer FFA had, ha had a very successful day today at the Central Region Land and Range Contest in Westendon Springs. Many of our students placed and received medals. We also placed first in both land and range. These teams will advance to the national competition in Oklahoma City. National land and range judging is held during the first week of May. Thank you to everyone who helps our kids to be able to attend events through the first month and a half of school. This includes our HT teacher, staff, administration, MRC staff, SESU extension staff, and many others. Your help is essential to, be, to us being able to participate in acti activities like this. Um, so <coughs> here's the placing for the range judging. Um, so you got Jed Walder, second place, uh, Danielle Knoll, seventh place, Raymond Cole, eighth place, Kyle Hamilton, 10th, Caden Bottom, 11th, um, so those there are There was some confusion on that. Caden, yeah. they messed scoring some cards, and Caden ended up getting in the top four, so. Yep, so. it's good. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. And then here's our land judging stuff here. Um, first place uh, was Harley Nielsen. Uh, second place was Michael Nielsen. Third place was Brendan Knoll. Fourth place was Andy Brooker. Fifth place was Caleb Warner. Ninth place was Blaze Binger. Or Caleb Wagner, sorry. He was got fifth place. Uh, ninth place was Blaze Binger. Uh, Eleventh place was Jackson Rainer. Uh, Brooklyn Franken Franklin Snack. Brooklyn Frankenstein has got 14th place. Uh, Cooper Cole got 21st, Ella Johnson 22nd, Weston Wagner 24th, and Caitlin Schroeder 26th. So good okay, job, guys. It's Frankenstein I'm and sorry, Schrader. <laughs> I have some problems speaking. But anyways, okay, we'll, we're, just, we're gonna we'll just stop there. We're gonna stop it there and we're going to send it to Jacob with yeah. the weatherman. To the weatherman. Hey, it's the weatherman. Uh, so for our seven-day forecast this week in Tulare, we got 
For Friday, we got a high of 82, low of 61. Saturday, we got a high of 77, low of 53. Sunday, we got a high of 69, low of 41. Monday, we got a high of 75, low of 46. And then Tuesday, we got a high of 66, low of 41. And then we got a high of 61, low of 37. And Thursday, we got a high of 58 and a low of 33. For Hitchcock this week at the 7 day forecast, we got uh, Friday, we have a high of 81, low of 60. Saturday is a high of 77, low of 53. Sunday is a high of 68, low of 41. Monday, we got a high of 75, low of 47. And then uh, for Tuesday, we got a high of 66, uh, low of 41. Wednesday is a high of 62, low of 37. Thursday is a high of 57, and a low of 34. Back to you. Thank you, Jacob, for that weather update. It's finally going to start cooling down a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's like fall, so that'll be good. And uh, anyway, I got your upcoming events. Uh, so October 8th, tomorrow, is a 10 a.m. enhancement, the last enhancement uh, with this quarter. And then uh, as there is 4, 4 p.m. junior high football at Great Plains Lister, and then varsity starts at 6. Then October 11th at 5 p.m. there's junior high football at Warner, and at 6 p.m. there's junior varsity football at Warner that same day. And then at 6 p.m. Uh, elementary girls basketball plays Iroquois in Iroquois, and 7 p.m. elementary boys basketball play at Iroquois. And then October 12th, we got picture retake day. Uh, and then for the seniors, we have national career readiness test. Ready for that? No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I am not ready for this. to see if we're ready to get thrown into the big rule, but already you're not. But I am. And then uh, October 13th at 2.30 p.m., an NSU representative will be here for the juniors and seniors to talk to. And then uh, 1 p.m. is cross country regions at Webster. So yeah, it'll be a good next week. Yeah, so yeah. I got birthdays as always. I love doing this. <laughs> so birthdays. All right. Whose birthdays are there, Elliot? There's a lot of, uh, actually. Oh, there's one special one right here. <laughs> so, yeah. as, as always, uh, stay away from my cookies. <laughs> um, <laughs> happy birthday to Emery Shedder. Uh, Elliot Harper, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Ella Johnson, Justine Jacobs, Canyon Close, Tyler, and oh no, yeah, Tyler Roberts, and Matthew Salmon. Ha happy birthday, guys! Yeah, happy birthday. Let's go. I'm uh, turning 18. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm back here with the sports recap. Uh, the Hitchcock to their football team played Britain Hecla in a really rainy game last week. Uh, the Patriots ended up winning 50 to 18. And this week they will travel to Watertown to play Great Plains Lutheran at six o'clock. So, and for volleyball, uh, the girls traveled to James Valley in Huron to play the 281 conference tournament. And they played Westington Springs, Iro Iroquois Dolan and James Valley. And, uh, against Westington Springs. They won the first set, but lost the next two sets. Uh, against Iroquois Dolan, they won two sets and won that game. And then against James Alley, they won the first set again and then lost the next two. So the girls ended up getting sixth in that tournament. And then this, two, this last Tuesday, they played Warner in Tulare and they lost that in three sets. And coming up, they have Miller in Tulare tonight, their pink night. So I'll be there to support your Lady Patriots. And now for cross country results. Last week, they traveled to Highmore for the junior high boys. Matthew Solomon got 24th. Junior high girls, Cambry Hookman got 32nd. And Regan Luter got 47th. Varsity boys, Josiah Weedy got 31st. Varsity Girls, Cambry McNeil got 31st. Thank you. I, I'm Zach from HDTV Live. I'm here with Coach Salmon. Coach, any words on last week's game against Britton Hecla? You know, I guess I don't know what to say. It was a, it was a fun game, playing in the rain. 
uh, uh, all the players seemed to seemed to like it and enjoy it, and, and of course we ended up winning. So that was the best part about it. All right. Uh, any expectations against Great Plains this week in Watertown? Well, the expectation is to win, to come out, play hard and tough like we have been, and hopefully we'll be able to get to everybody in the game. All right. I see your season's coming to an end here. Uh, any hopes for playoffs? Uh, yes, we're planning on being in the playoffs, and at this point we're ranked eighth, so uh, I would see uh, at least that, and so we definitely get in at least the first round. So. All right. Good luck, Coach. All right. Thank you. Yep. I'm here with Mr. Opp. Uh, Mr. Opp, how did the 281 conference go? Um, we kind of struggled Saturday in Huron. Um, we came out, played uh, Western Springs first set very well. S second two sets, we uh, had some errors. Lost se uh, the second set, I think it was by three points. And then the fourth set, or the third set, excuse me, it was close. Lost that. And then ultimately, we lost the match two to one. And then um, got into the consolation bracket. Played Iroquois, beat them relatively easily, 2-0. And then we got into a James Valley squad. We beat them right away in the first set. And then the second and third set, they knocked us around and ended up taking sixth place, which um, you know, right now we're we're not playing very good volleyball. We have to fix that. Yeah. All right. And last night I saw you played against Warner. How'd that go? Um, the first set, we came out blazing. Um, ended up losing 28-26. We had a chance at the end uh, to take the set. We were up 24-23, didn't really have very good ball control to set anything up. And then um, Warner came along like Warner does and puts it away. And then the second and third set, um, like I said, I don't know what, what happened. We got knocked around pretty good. Um, a typical Warner squad, they're going to you know, minimize the errors on their side and, and show our weaknesses, and that's what they did. Yeah. All right. Uh, any upcoming games you want to talk about? I'm um, sure. Thursday we have uh, Miller. Um, you know, Miller's, again, a very scrappy team. They're always a, a very good opponent for us to play. Um, they've dropped from Class A to Class B. Um, and so they're they're having a nice season over there. They're about uh, 500, about kind of right where we're at. Um, but they've played some tough teams close. They've even beat some tough teams. So I think it should be a good match. It's also, you know, the annual uh, breast cancer awareness game. Mm -hmm. um, so that's always fun. And then um, next week we travel up to Ipswich next Thursday. Um, and to face the Tigers. And like I've been um, saying to our girls, I said we better be ready for Ipswich this year because we all know what happened last year. We faced them twice. We beat them twice on our home court. So they're going to be ready for us. I'm sure they're not going to hold anything back. All right. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of HCTV Live. I am Ron Burgundy. I am Brian Fantana. And we'll see you next week. Stay classy, Hitchcock Tealer.